my lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another advent calendar unboxing. If you're new here, I'm Chloe, I'm otherwise known as Lady Rights. Can I ask though, if you've not been to my channel before, that right now, before we go any further into the video, you click subscribe and you ring the bell. That is the only way of being notified when my next advent calendar unboxing goes live because it will land directly in your inbox when I upload it so you won't miss a single video. And trust me, there's some really fun ones still to come. Today we're gonna to be unboxing the Glossy Box Advent Calendar for 2022. So many of you have been asking me when this is gonna be coming and here it is in all of its glory. I'm very excited to see what's inside this year's edit. I know, I know that you are too because the amount of messages I've had requesting videos and this one is definitely one of the most requested. Now the details about the calendar. It's a 25 day calendar and it is worth over 440 pounds. So inside here we've got over 440 pounds worth of beauty goodies which is very exciting. Now, if you are a subscriber, you can pick up the calendar for £85, or if you're a non-subscriber, you can get it for £99. However, I do have an exclusive discount code. You can use this code at the checkout. I'll link it in the description box. And you can save yourself £10 as a subscriber. You get the calendar there for £75, which is pretty cool. Now, if you're a non-subscriber, the best way to get the most out of Glossybox right now is maybe to add a short length subscription to your car as well as the calendar. And then you'll get a couple of months worth of boxes from glossy box which is always a nice treat at this time of year you'll save yourself that 10 pounds and you'll also get the calendar so that might be something worth considering if you are not yet a subscriber as well historically glossy box has always been one of the best like it's always really good value the products are always really lovely so i know that this is why it sells out really fast every year and i definitely think it's going to do that again now it's kind of on the market you can buy it i definitely think it will sell out fast so if you want this one be quick i will link it in the description box for you but other than that, that's all of the details out of the way. So let's dive right in to the unboxing. I'm very excited. So this is what the calendar looks like inside. It's freeze the moment is the theme this year, which is really, really cool. It's got kind of like an icicle, very pale purple, lilac-y, silvery coloring to it. So it's kind of got those festive vibes that we all like. And we're gonna start here with day number one. And in here we have got the iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pot. This is in the shade Medium Shadow. Oh, I love this. I've never seen this before. This is like a duo pot, a contouring pot. We've got a pale kind of more cool tone on the top and then a warmer tone on the bottom. They both do have a little bit of shimmer in there as well. So they're not completely matte, but I didn't even know Iconic did this. You could definitely use these as eyeshadows as well, but it says that they're contouring. So you can use them on the complexion, which is great. And obviously that is a full size, I'm assuming. So pretty cool first day. Day number two. In here, we've got a Spectrum makeup brush. This has the freeze the moment um, design on it. So it's obviously been made specifically for this calendar, which is cool. Let's have a look. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like, I mean, it does look almost like it's been used at the top but it actually hasn't that's just the coloring we've got the pale lilac and then a slightly gold on the top with the rose gold on the handle it's like it says on here it's a mini precision buffer so do you know what i would use this for is for putting my powder products underneath my eye or even like my cream contour that i use underneath my eye to lighten the area it's like fluffy but it's not too dense i feel like you could use it for so many things in smaller areas rather than all over the face so i really like that up here to day number three now in here we have got the color wow pop and lock high gloss finish it says apply evenly to wet hair style as usual or smooth lightly over dry styled hair for extra shine now i've never seen a product like this it looks like a lip gloss because it's got shimmer and glitter bits in there now that is going to really make your hair look super shiny super sleek in party season it's a 12 mil um it comes out like a little serum pump feel like this is going to be really really great for like adding some definition to your curls or if you're going for a nice sleek look you can kind of use this to smooth everything down great for an updo i think so i like that i'm definitely intrigued by this day number four is up here now oh and this packaging is lovely um this is forest essentials illuminating body oil it's a 50 mil so let's have a sniff hope this smells real nice oh my gosh it does that smells really nice it's a really warm smell it's like slightly oriental very warm great little body oil um does it have any shimmer in have a look not that i can see but a good body oil great for when you get out of the bath the shower if you just want to add some nourishment or some hydration back into your skin and i do really like the packaging time for day five in here we have got this is the beauty crop glow milk mini mist so it says it's a seal and set mist which is great it's got rose water and hyaluronic acid in there so it's going to keep your skin really nicely hydrated throughout the day um it's a 65 mil so great for setting your makeup also lengthening the way that your makeup lasts through the day so you could use it in the mid-afternoon at a little skin pick me up hopefully then to just kind of 
add some longevity and some lifespan to your makeup. My makeup tends to by mid-afternoon be like sliding off my face because I have oily skin. So something like this is great for just hopefully pushing it that little bit longer towards the end of the day. But I do really like the Beauty Crop products. I've had a few from Glossy Box and always really like them. So that's another good one. Time for day six. In here we have got the, oh, this is the Lanage. I think that's how you say it, Lanage. I don't know. This is the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturiser. Now I use the lip masks from this brand all the time. I've had them in so many flavours. They are delicious. They make my lips so soft. But I don't think I've tried this. This is the moisturiser that you can use all day and it says you can use it at night too. It's a visibly smooth, improved texture moisturiser. It's 20 mil. So that sounds really, really good. And you can use it for normal to dry skin so everyone can use it. And it says it's a lush cream that helps to visibly smooth, soften the skin and evenly lock in moisture for up to 100 hours. That's a big claim. I'll have to try it and see how we get on, but I love this brand, so I'm hoping for good things. Number seven, and we've got the Refi Brow Pencil in Medium, and I really like this brand. We've had it a lot in calendars this year, but it's premium. It's a very, very kind of luxury type brand with a really modern edge, which I like. Obviously, the medium shade isn't gonna suit everyone. However, I feel like most people with darker brows will be able to blend that in, and it is full size. Day number eight now. In here we've got the Nip and Fab Vitamin C Tonic. This is the 100 mil. This is a lovely tonic. So it says here, a refreshing and skin awakening tonic infused with vitamin C to reveal a glowing complexion. Perfect for the winter when our skin is looking a little bit dull, a little bit lackluster. December, my skin always looks really, I mean, I'm quite pale naturally anyway, but in December, I always look more pale. My skin looks a bit uneven, it looks dull. It just needs to perk me up. So I'm always like, vitamin C is something you should definitely be adding into your skincare regime in the winter months just to give it that brighter complexion that we all know and love. And this is one I've used before. It's very, very gentle. You don't have to worry about it if you have sensitive skin. So another quite good and very usable one. Day nine. Kidoki, we have got some Land of Lashes Faux Mink Lashes. Now these are the nude lash, they are very curly. They really curl up at the ends. Now if you like a lash that's all one length all the way round, then these are the lashes for you. I don't think I've tried any by this brand before, but you know I love me some false lashes. So you can never go wrong with these. These ones do look um, a little bit thicker than I would usually like. However, that flick at the end is exactly what I like in my lashes. So I'll give them a whirl and hope for good things. Let's have a look in day 10 now. In here we've got the Bybe Bibby, the eye plump. So this is the Bacatroil. I still don't know if I say that right. The eye cream, the 15 mil full size. It's an overnight eye cream. Love that. Love to be able to use products that are specifically targeting the overnight regeneration process that our skin naturally goes through while we sleep. Using products that aid that process just makes me feel like I'm going to get a little bit more out of them than you would do the normal. So that Bacatroil, if I've even said that right, is the more natural version of retinol. So obviously retinol is like the anti-age buzzword ingredient isn't it however some people can't use it it's very strong this is the more natural version that does exactly the same thing so hopefully if you have sensitive skin or you find that retinol doesn't work for you this would be a really good alternative down here to day 11 oh and we've got two in one here I love that okay so we've got the L'Occitane conditioner and shampoo these are the five essential oil ones these sizes are 35 mil so you get a couple of uses out of those it's a lovely shampoo and conditioner duo very very good for pretty much all hair type it's not hair specific they smell beautiful because they've got that kind of L'Occitane vibe to it. It's very luxurious. I always find these in hotels when I go away, so I love them. I think they're really lovely. And the fact that they're not overloaded with ingredients as well. So I like the fact that they've put them in one and not put one in one day and one in the next. They've put them both together, which is always a plus point for me. Moving on to day number 12. And in here we have got the X Lash Pro Eyelash Serum. Okay, that sounds really good. Um, if you're looking to repair the health of your lashes, you can pop this on. Um, you can also use it on brows too. So if you're looking for something, if you've had your um, lash extensions taken off and you want to rebuild the health of your lashes, this is the sort of thing that you would use. Even if you haven't had lash extensions and you just want to thicken and help the health of your lashes, you could easily add this into your beauty regime. So full size as well. Day number 13. In here we have got the This Works In Transit Camera Close Up. This is the 20 mil. It's like a primer and a mask in one. You can also use it as a moisturizer. It's one of those multi-use products. It just helps to smooth the complexion when you use it as a primer or as a moisturizer. It's great underneath makeup it helps your skin to look a little bit more consistent and smooth in texture so it is great underneath your makeup because it gives you that like flawless base that we all want before our foundation now I don't think I've ever used this as a mask but it's hydrating it's obviously smoothing and soothing so it sounds like it'd be a good one for a mask as well and that size 20 mil you get a lot of use out of that number 14 is up here now oh this is exciting we've got the milk mascara this is the rise mascara it says it lifts lengthens and adds volume now, this is the small little testing size 
size. However, I love Milk Makeup. I love their products. So I don't think I've tried this and I'm very excited. I am a mascara snob. It takes a lot to impress me with a good mascara. So I'm hoping for good things. I'm just trying to check that it's actually a black one. Um, yes, it is. It's the black one. So that's good. Could be used it for every day. I will try this and also hope for good things. There's some nice things in here for me to try. Like, I like the fact that we've got some newness. Day number 15. And in here we have got the Corez Night Brightening Sleeping Facial. I actually got this recently and I really like it. Okay, so it's a vitamin C brightening and plumping mask. Um, the fact that you can sleep in it is a bonus. Like I said, it aids the skin's natural regeneration process. 20 mil is gonna last you ages because it's very rich, very luxurious. It literally like sinks into the skin. My skin absolutely loves it. it drinks it up. Obviously I'm nearly 35. How has that even happened? Um, but things like this are great for helping me to feel like I'm targeting fine lines and wrinkles and the way that my skin is aging. So it's a good one. Trust me. I've been loving it. I think you will too. Time for day 16 now. This is exciting. We've got the 111 Skin Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. This is one of my favorite sheet masks. Obviously 111 Skin are a Harley Street skincare clinic. So you know that their skincare products are going to be amazing because it's what they actually use in their clinic. Now this one is a brightening one. It's obviously a single use mask, but trust me, your skin will love it. I pop mine in the fridge for a few minutes before I put it on. It's really nice and cooling. It kind of, when you put it on your skin at first, you're like, oh my gosh, that's so cold but it actually just makes me feel a bit more like I'm having a pamper session when I do it. Um, it reinforces and protects the skin's barrier function. It diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's got 24 karat gold, which enhances skin's radiance and it rejuviates, uh, rejuviates? rejuvenates and nourishes lackluster skin. So it's a great mask for December. Day number 17, we've got all some P. Louise. Do you know what? I've never used anything from P. Louise. I really feel like that's a really bad thing as a beauty blogger, isn't it? Like a bad thing but this is the achieve the perfect pout cosmetic base so is that for the, it says it's a lip base but it's tinted that is pretty cool so you put it on and it's like a lipstick but it's a base i like that it's full size i have been looking at the p louise um products recently and i'm like oh these look really really fun so have you guys used these like let me know if you've used p louise before and what you think of their products but I'm excited to try. Moving to day 18 now. And in here we have got the Earth Harbor Lunar Rain. Okay, so it says it's a phyto resurfacing night serum. It's a 30 mil. It's plant-based, it's holistic, it's vegan friendly, it's sustainable. I love that. So it basically says, endow your skin with raindrops of moonlight magic, a rich lightweight serum featuring a medley of seaweed, collagen, and super fruit acids that refine and retexture skin to reveal a smoother and more radiant looking complexion, all while you enjoy your precious beauty sleep. So we've got another sleeping one. That sounds lovely. Really like the fact that it's for more of a natural product. So I will be also trying this. Day number 19. In here, we've got the Cetaphil. This is the gentle skin cleanser for normal to dry and sensitive skin. This is a hydrating cleanser. So it is great for adding moisture and nourishment back in. It's also a very budget friendly option. What I like about this brand, when I have really struggled with my skin, I've used it multiple times over the years and it has really helped to rebalance my skin. If I've overdosed on skincare, used too many different things in there, this is always one that I can use for a little while to just get my skin back to its more natural level. So I think that you will like this. It's a 29 mil you don't actually need a lot of this because again it lavers up really nicely when you're washing your face so it does go a long way time for day 20 up here and we've got the we are paradox moisture express hair mask this is the 40 mil this has got argan oil in it so that is going to be very rich very nourishing it's going to help your hair to kind of be enriched with vitamins nourishment everything that it needs to look and feel its best um i've actually used this recently again i really liked it i only used it on the mid lengths to the ends of my hair i must admit because that's where i have the most breakage however However, my hair really liked it. I used it while I was in the bath. I just put it on and then pinned my hair up for a little while. And then when I was ready to get out, I rinsed it off. So I'm definitely gonna use it again. I really like it. And it's 90% plastic free and 99% natural. Down here to day number 21. This one is massive. Okay, we've got a huge bag of the Frank Body Coconut Coffee Scrub. I love this. So this is an all over body scrub. And I've used the coffee ones before. You have to be careful that it doesn't stay in your bath because it is actual coffee in there. But there's coconut in this one as well, which should also make it a really good exfoliator just think about that texture of the ground coffee and the coconut in there it's going to be great for exfoliating your body in the winter um it's a 200 gram so it's an absolutely massive bag it feels so satisfying to squeeze i'm not gonna lie i can't wait to use it and i bet it smells absolutely incredible as well day number 22 and we have 
got the Gosh Brow Lift Lamination Gel. That sounds cool. Okay, so if you wanna give yourself a brow lift, you've got everything you need here to be able to do it. Now, I have 90s brows, I over pluck them and they've never grown back, which is a bit of a shame. However, if you are into big bushy brows, this sounds absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm not really gonna be able to use this one personally. However, I know one of my best friends does her brows all the time, so she will definitely love this one. But again, I think this is full size. Day number 23. Oh my goodness, we've got two in here. We've got Glossier, love this. We've got the GlossierBirthdayBalm.com. This is the universal um, skin salve. And then we've got the cloud paint as well. They're both full sizes and they're in day 23. I love that. Um, this is the storm cloud paint. So you'll be able to blend that in. You can also use it on your lips as well. Maybe on your eyes as an eyeshadow. This birthday balm is my favourite one from Glossier. I, it was the first one I ever bought and I loved it. It reminds me of birthday cake. Very pleased with that day. 24 now, Christmas Eve, another big one. Wow, okay, so we've got two in here again. We've got the Rituals Ritual Harmonizing Foaming Shower Gel. We love the shower gels from Rituals, the foaming ones in this house. We fight over them in the shower. And then we've got the Soothing Body Cream as well, which is the Relaxing Scent. So I love that. I've used these, um, the Relaxing Scent before and it's really lovely, really does help you relax. It's got that real nice warmth to it. Um, Size-wise, this is a 50 mil and this is a 100 mil. I love that in the last two days, we've had two full size products well these two aren't full size they're more like travel sizes however we've had two products in each day which is pretty good right okay 25 i'm very excited to see how they're going to end this calendar what have we got okay we've got the magnetone xoxo microsonic soft touch silicone facial cleansing brush okay so we do usually end our glossy box calendars with a palette but that has been for the last few years so they're clearly mixing it up which is good adding new things in so this is a three different cleansing um area brush so you've got three different types of heads on each end um so that you can you do different things use your cleansing brush in a different way and it says it's made of high grade pure silicone touch points as well pretty cool so guys there we have it that is the glossy box advent calendar for 2022 what do you guys think about this year's edit please leave me your thoughts in the comments below because i would love to know what you think about this one now I think this is a really lovely variation of products there's lots of new things in here for me to try which I like there's some of my favorite brands I think my favorite day would probably have to be day 23 with the Glossier products they were beautiful and totally things that I love to use but I like the fact that they had a spectrum brush made especially for the calendar because it matches um, I like that we had the shampoo and conditioner in the same drawer rather than in two separate ones um, I like the fact that I've got some P. Louise to finally try that's very exciting so for me it's a really good calendar for the price point obviously we've got so much competition in the advent market this year um there's a lot to go on do you know what i mean i feel like there is a lot to beat so this calendar definitely stands up there i think when you use the discount code and you get it for 75 pounds it's definitely a double thumbs up from me i really like it definitely worth bagging if you want it as mentioned i will link in the description box below where you can pick it up it is limited edition so once it's gone it's gone so be super quick but other than that thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i have and i will see you very soon for my next video. Bye.